every time. Every time I'm scared it's gonna explode. You know what? Sometimes in life, you just need a cold carbonated drink. Sometimes that's all you need. I can just feel it like sizzling on my teeth, growing the cavities, but sometimes I just don't care. Sometimes I just need like a cold carbonated drink. And then sometimes that just like makes your day better. Anyways, you already know what time it is. It's time to talk about spiritual shit. So sit the fuck down. So today, we're talking about why I literally get everything that I want. Every single thing that I want, I receive. And I'm going to tell you how I do it. Because I am simply a master manifester. I manifest every single thing that I want. I get everything that I want. I speak it into existence. I affirm it. It is true. I get everything that I want, period. I have a list here on my phone. But first of all, peep the jewelry. Peep. This is like two rings. There, I took them apart. They're two rings, but they come together. I'm gonna I'm show off the jewelry in every video because I'm a Virgo rising, so. So this is where a lot of people mess up manifesting. This is where a lot of people uh, come into some, some difficulty. So, <laughs> so this is where some people struggle a little bit. So the whole point of manifesting or coming into alignment with the thing that you desire is you have to act as if you currently already have it in the present moment. So when you're saying, I wish I had this, I want this, that implies that you don't already have it. How many times have you said to yourself, oh, I'll do that tomorrow, I'll do that tomorrow, and then tomorrow comes and then you don't do it? It's because it will always be tomorrow because you're speaking that into existence. You're always saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, we'll do it tomorrow. But then tomorrow, it's gonna be tomorrow. So that's the same thing with manifesting. You have to speak as if it already exists in current time. It's not, oh, I wish I was a millionaire. I wish I sold all of my candles in my inventory. I wish I sold 102 candles last week. I'm saying this because I have a small business, Divine Candle Co, shop divinecandleco.com, link in the description if you wanna support a queer young woman owned business link bio um i wish i sold that many candles but when you're saying that in those words verbatim you're saying you're letting the universe know that you don't already have it so it will always be oh i wish you have to say it as if it did happen like it is happening like i sold 102 candles this week i sell 102 candles every week i'm saying that specific number because that's how many candles i have currently in my inventory 30 plus cents to shop from if you want to yeah so anywho so there's the first thing you have to this i'm just gonna read what i wrote and then i'll like explain it after detach from the outcome Come to a point where you can fully surrender and accept that if your desire doesn't manifest, you'll be okay. Be because once you do that, then you're like, okay, I'll be okay if it doesn't. When you're constantly sending messages to the universe, to God, to whatever you believe in, for a higher power, if you're constantly saying, if I don't get this, I won't be happy, then you'll never be happy. So if you can get to a point in your life right now where you are surrendering 
and accepting the fact that if it doesn't turn out on the timeline that you want, if it doesn't happen the, in the way that you want, you'll still be fine. Like, it'll still be okay. Once you accept that, then it becomes easier to manifest. Being too attached to your desire is giving lack energy to the universe, that's what I just said, basically. You already have it currently, what I just said. I know myself so well, like... <laughs> I got this from Anita Anita something 101 I don't I don't remember her full name but it's Anita something 101 shout out to her if she's watching this because I got this from her in one of her videos she said and then she said she stole this from someone else so credit to the original person who said this because I don't know who the original person was what emotion are you most scared of feeling in the worst case scenario so let's say the worst case scenario is i don't sell all of my candles next week i won't be able to pay my bills the feeling that i would feel would be anger annoyance discouraged i would Feel like a failure once you can identify that go back to the first thing that I said if that's what you are most scared of feeling are those emotions and then you already feel them then you've already been at that rock bottom you see what I mean like you already have came to terms with that emotion so you can only go up like you can only manifest your desire from there okay so now that we're a little bit far into the video um i debated whether or not i wanted to tell this story because i don't i don't want to like start drama i don't that's not my intention here and you never know who's watching your videos anyways but i'm gonna tell this story because my intention is to inspire people i want people to hear this success story and i want it to resonate with them and then you can be inspired by it and you can feel comfort and hope that maybe similar things will happen for you because they will because the universe will not let you fail and if it does it's not actually a failure because something else is on its way type b so I'm going to share the success story that I experienced on Friday, question mark. I think it was Friday, last Friday. So to make a long story short, I had an income, said source of income will be put on pause, okay? So now, the income that was paying for my groceries, peep my fridge is like basically empty right now. Um, that income paid for my groceries and my credit card bills. Now that that income is on pause, I'm worried because I don't know how I'm gonna pay my credit card bills and I don't know how I'm gonna feed myself. I reopened my website back up shop divine candle co i'll say it again. i'm gonna keep saying it because i make really fucking good smelling candles and like i'm passionate about them and they're cute and they're double wick and they're 12 ounce and they'll last you a long ass time and they smell divine that's why it says divinely scented like peep the website link in my description so i opened my website back up taking that risk taking that leap of faith i'm putting out into the universe that I am, because of this stream of income ended, I'm creating a new one. I also have a Depop closet. Um, it's not linked in my description, but if anyone is interested, uh, just comment. And I'll comment the link in the comments. Um, so that's two streams of income that I have, like, out into the universe. Now. This is where this is where the story gets interesting, okay? There was there is somebody that owes me money 
and we are not on good terms and we never will be but I kind of just like came to terms with the fact that they were never gonna pay me the money that they owed me and I like accepted that for a while because it's been like almost a year legitimately almost a year that they've owed me this money I, I just like assumed that they were just never gonna give it to me right so I had two credit card bills that were due last week and because of my old income I didn't know how I was going to pay those. Half of the amount that these people owed me magically showed up on my doorstep. On the day of my credit card bill that it was due. So, and to be specific, it was 150. That's how much they gave me. I took 145 to the bank, like straight away. Put it in my account. Paid this credit card bill, paid this credit card bill, and then guess how much I have left. I'll check my bank account right now. So, to put things in perspective, I have. Today is the 13th. I have a bill due on the 16th, so in three days. And then my last one is due on the 20th. Um, the one that's due in three days is 25. Okay? Keep that in mind. Guess how much money I have in my checking account right now, in this very moment. Take a wild guess. $26.40. So, the universe knows that you have bills. I say all this to say the universe, God, knows that you have bills. It sees what's going on. It knows you have bills to pay. So just because one source of income ends, that just means that there's income coming in from other places. You just don't know it because it's like happening behind the scenes, there's things happening in the spiritual realm, the angels, your guardian angels, your spirit guides, whatever you believe in, they're putting things together, they're putting things in place for you. I did not expect this money at all, like I did not expect them to pay me at all. They still owe me another 150 that's on its way right now and that money that they gave me paid my bills like it paid my two credit card bills and it's gonna pay it was the perfect amount to pay the next three bills like the one that's due in three days from now is $25 and I have $26 in my bank account it was the perfect amount so take this success story do with it what you will. If it can happen for me, it can happen for you. And if you ever sat back and just like taken note and like observed what's happening in your life, the universe always, things always work out. Like if you've ever really, really like genuinely thought about it, things always work out. They always work out. Like you've always been covered. So if I can manifest money Seemingly out of nowhere, I'm going to manifest magical money out of nowhere again. And again and again and again. And again and again and again. And again and again and again. Period. So there's my success story that I recently experienced. One last thing. This is kind of like random and doesn't really like tie into things that I was talking about in this video. But it's also something that I do and that I've done really since high school that has always worked for me as well when it comes to manifesting clean your room 
clean your room. Deep clean your room. Sweep, mop. Take all the trash out of your room. Throw it away. Make your bed. Wipe down all the surfaces, all the counters. If you want to take it a step further, rearrange your furniture in your room because that sends a signal to the universe that you're physically making the space for new blessings to come in. And then when you rearrange the furniture, it's sending the message out that you're changing. Like angel number 555 vibes, like change is happening. Like you're physically changing things in your life. So like circumstances in your life will also change type beat. So every time that I clean my room, I'm making room for new things to come in. And I've been feeling like the intuitive nudge to rearrange my room like the past few days. But it's like there's no other uh there's no other way that I can organize my room and like set it up because my room is so small. So, I don't really I don't know. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see if I do end up rearranging my room or not, I don't know. Anywho, that's all I had to say for today. So, if you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Subscribe. I think my next videos are probably not going to be spiritual related because I have a couple other video ideas. Um, and I don't know... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but if my next two videos are not spiritual related, then that's why. Because I wanted to talk about something else. So. There you go. I hope this was entertaining for you. I hope it was inspiring. I hope it was educational. And. I'll talk to you later. I will see you in the next video. I love you. Bye.